you know about leap years, it takes Earth 365 and a quarter days to revolve around the sun, so every four years we have to add an extra day to keep our calendars from falling behind. But in 2016, we didn't just get a leap day, we got an extra leap second. Oh big whoop, white boy, I hear you say, that just sounds like a leap year, but smaller. Uh, not quite. See, when you keep track of time, you can really do that two different ways. There's the literal moment-to-moment -moment passage of time that makes Minecraft older than most high schoolers, but you can also count the cycles we observe on Earth that we call days, months, and years and put them on numbered lists. Thing is, Earth's rotation changes speed all the time. In general, it's slowing down, so a day is usually actually a little bit longer than 24 hours. In the past, this didn't matter too much, but now it really, really does, and we have super accurate clocks that will drift out of sync with our planet's definition of a day if we don't occasionally correct them. Now, that might still sound like a leap year to you, but while leap years are about Earth's orbit, which is very predictable, we already got that covered, leap seconds are about its spin, which can be affected by all sorts of random things, like natural disasters of the Chinese. So, while we already know when every leap year will be, there's an organization that has to manually say whether or not we need a leap second, and we don't know when the next one is. It's been eight and a half years since the last one, which is a record, actually. Normally we get one every two years, but it can be as frequent as every six months. Not knowing when it'll happen can cause some problems for computers, which don't follow calendars like we do, but instead have built-in timers constantly counting up that we can match to specific times in the future. Adding a leap second could mean the computer could mistake one number for two different dates, like a miniature Y2K bug for whoever's doing work at that exact second. This isn't hypothetical, by the way. This has caused crashes. Sometimes that does something good, like crashing Reddit, but we really don't want to see the bad it can do, and it's generally just a headache for programmers, and those people use Linux for fun. So, the official organization behind such hits like the metric system says we're going to stop doing the leap second sometime within the next 10 years, either by replacing it with something we have to do less often, like a hypothetical leap minute, or just giving up and letting our special clock drift out of sync with our planet's natural day-night cycle. Man, talk about borrowed time. <laughs>